Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can change the input and output device on GarageBand for Mac. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so what you have to do first is download if GarageBand if you don't have it already and then open it up. Now you can just open up whatever file you're wanting to do this on. I've just got a completely blank file here for demonstration purposes, but you can do this on any of your GarageBand files. And then what you want to do is go up to the menu bar and click on GarageBand. So next to the Apple logo and then go down to where it says preferences. Now there's a shortcut for this. You can use command comma to open preferences or you can just click it here. Now when you open preferences it will probably show up in the general page or whatever page you had last opened. Now what you want to do is click over to audio slash MIDI settings and then here you'll see the devices pane and you've got an output and an input device here. So by default it will be on system setting or whatever you last used um, but what you can do here is you can change this between any of the devices that are available on your computer. So for example, for an output device, I've got many options here. So I could change it to my monitor. I could change it to my external headphones. And as you can see, when I click this, it does a little bit of a loading thing each time just to make sure it's preparing it uh, to work nicely. Or we could go back to system setting. Now, when you click system setting, sometimes it will change the other device to system setting as well. So for example, the input device at the moment, I've got on none. Uh, so I've got on system setting here, but I can change it to none or I can do anything else here. So what that means is, for example, I could set that to my microphone here. So if I set that, then that will start allowing the input from the microphone. Now, sometimes in my experience, what should be happening here is I'm starting to see levels from my microphone because I've set it to that. I'm not actually seeing that right now. So sometimes you need to quit GarageBand and reopen it to make it work properly. Uh, not always though. Sometimes this can bug out a little bit though. So um, you can just change this to whatever you like. So that's a super easy process on how to do that there. Uh, and while you're in the same page, you can also change the instrument and effects. So you can enable audio units and you can also change the MIDI settings here and you can reset the MIDI drivers if needed. So that's a pretty simple process. Um, system setting, just so you know, um, will be whatever setting your computer's on. So if you're computer set to set uh, go through its built-in speakers or an external microphone or speakers it will do that so that is what happens there uh, and then the input device is just your microphone as well and you can also set that to system setting and once you're done you can close that out you do need to make sure that you save your file um, to make sure that it saves those changes so changing it um, those settings will require you to resave the file if you want to keep it like that for next time. So just keep that in mind as well. So yeah, that's a super simple process on how to change the input and output devices on GarageBand for your Mac. Hopefully this was helpful and you've had some great success in completing this tutorial. And let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions or video suggestions for me because I'm more than happy to make those videos if you'd like to see them. And with that, thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.